Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. Finally, Ifanye Jofo has given full update of what happened yesterday, especially as it has to do with the court order that was given to DSAs in respect of the clothings of Mazin Namdi Kano and also what happened when visitors went to visit Mazin Namdi Kano in the DSS custody. We are going to be looking at all of this and the responses of Nigerians in respect to these. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do well to click on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazin Namdi Kano, on Thursday said some guests who visited him in detention were not clear to do so. Kanu insisted that these obvious infractions should be addressed at the appropriate forum, noting that it constitutes a violation of the order of the court. This was made known on Thursday in a statement signed by IPOB lead counsel. Ifanye Jofo noted that the officials of the Department of State Services, DSS, rejected for the umterm time, the change of clothes brought to Kanu. According to him, he said, We observe our routine visit to our indefatigable client, Oyendu Mazinam de Kanu, today, the 10th day of February 2022. Extensive interaction was held with him on mainly legal issues as well as other engaging related matters. Though for reasons we were not told, the official of the DSS rejected for the term time the change of clothes brought for him. We, however, protested against these obvious violations of court order and insisted on seeing the head of the appropriate department to lodge our complaint, but we end with advice that we should take up the infraction at the appropriate forum in view of the fact that a positive order of the court was flouted. Also, forming part of our demands for the explanation is the fact that some other guests that visited Oyendu were not heated to clear. Oyendu still insisted that these obvious infractions should be addressed at the corporate forum because it constitutes a violation of positive order of the court. The visit, pro the visit proceeded smoothly and personal notes were taken of Onyendu's erodite views through contribution towards a successful outing come 16th day of February 2021. Onyendu was equally brief on the level of progress on other matters simultaneously going on in other courts affecting other young evil groups youth still in solitary confinement of the department of the detaining authorities who are yet to be formally arraigned in court other details in relation to this brief shall remain private as usual oyendu appreciated his ardent supporters who have remained unshakable and resolute even in the face of obvious tribulation and sabotage Please be reassured that this month is a month of uncommon victory. Do not be distracted by the desperate constrife of the enemies of Umu Chineke, which is now obviously coming in a different dimension and being orchestrated by malls. It is forward ever, backward never, um, Umu Chineke. We end to encourage you all to remain peaceful in the conduct of your affairs and prayerful particularly in times like this because victory is no longer far from us Oyendu is fully prepared for the 16th day of february outing you will you all will see him live and direct thank you all ezibo Chineke, and remain richly blessed i love you all the statement noted quite interesting and this issue of uh, change of clothing has been a, a case that was already, you know, settled in the law court. There was a court order to that effect, and uh, the person in charge, Justice, uh, uh, the, the female judge who is in charge of the case, 
made the DSAs to understand the need for them to change his clothes and uh, they promised to do that. But shockingly, when they brought change of clothes to him, he, uh, I don't know why they stopped him, according to Ifanye Jofo. They refused to allow those clothes, you know, to get to uh, Biafra. That's the Biafra leader talking about Mazinam Di Kanu. But guess what? There have been multiple contrary response from Nigerians in that regard. And we are going to be looking at that in a jiffy. The first person here on board says that the DSAs are scared. They don't trust iPod members. They do not want anything to happen that will result to them running Helter Skelter to solve the situation. Another person here says, just like they were looking out for the cat which Ibuwo had turned to, possibly the belief, whatever clothes that will be sent to Mazinam Dikano will enable him to possibly overpower them or maybe disappear from the DSS custody. Maybe they do not want what happened in the past to happen again. Another person here says, I feel that Mazinam Dikano himself do not want to change his clothing. I feel he is comfortable with his dressing and I feel also that it is something to remember for him when he is out of the detention. At least he will have something to say that I did, this, this clothes was the one I wear from the start to the end. It's a way of commitment. It's a show of commitment and interest in every day a phase of his life another person here says another person here says serious situation here for umu chineke we have to remain very prayerful so that at the end of the day we don't lose out the way things are going it's very clear that this case may shift itself to even the end of this administration i don't know what's going on but let's just keep praying who knows tomorrow that God may give us victory? Another person here says, during uh, this upcoming 16-day outing for Mazinam de Kano, I suggest that we should all be on our knees praying so that the journey will be successful. With prayers, everything can be done. I think that we have legal representatives who have ability to give him the required liberation than expected. So therefore, we are making this demand that Umu Chineke should be fasting right now so that we can be assured of that victory. And second to the last person here says, first of all, what has change of clothes to do with the victory that we are looking for? I feel that Namdikano should look far away from this clothing thing and from people visiting him so much because what we really are looking for is to see him come out victorious at the end of the day and we want to see him lead the entirety of Biafran supporters to the victory that we have been earnestly desiring for. Not all the stories. For me, this is just one way of distracting the people. And then the last person here says, let us pray that all will go well with Mazinam Dikano. Well, you've listened to virtually everything that they have said. Let's go to our comment section. What's your position in respect to this latest development coming from Ifanye Jofo, who paid Mazinam Dikano a visit as of yesterday?